I'm Michael B. Jordan, and this is what I do every day. A lot of my days, for the most part, starts in New York City. I hit the snooze button all the time. My body is a natural alarm clock. Whether I like it or not, I get up around five o'clock in the morning, but then I go back to sleep, depending on what I have to do. It's like a second sleep. It's like the really, really good sleep. Always get out on the right foot. Right foot is the first thing that touches the ground. Jump in the shower. Shower is like the, you know, the kickstarter for the day. I meditate a little bit. Standing sometimes when I'm meditating in the shower or I have a, you know, a stool. You know, I, I kind of sit down and I just let the water kind of run over me. It's a, it's a really calm and peaceful feeling. You don't wash, I don't wash my hair every day. You know, I, you know, I think uh, you gotta, you know, let the natural juices kind of set in, you know what I mean? Uh, my favorite breakfast would be, I like to taste things, so I'll get a little bit of everything. So I think I'll do the hash browns, the breakfast tomatoes, home fries, depending on who's making it, turkey sausage, cheese grits, English muffin, and then I'll do like a croissant, like a bacon, egg, and cheese with a little bit of jelly. It's the sweet and salty thing. That would probably be the perfect breakfast for me. Maybe pancakes, <laughs> maybe pancakes. If I'm doing intense training, probably do around six meals a day. If not, if I'm lucky, three meals a day. I only drink coffee when I'm prepping and when I'm shooting. When I'm training, I'll drink about a gallon and a half of water a day. Normal days, probably not drinking enough. I got a gym in my house, so I usually just head downstairs and, and, and work out. It's convenient. Warm up, jumping rope, you know, get the heart rate up a little bit. Push-ups, sit-ups, I like circuits. You know, it gets in and out, you know, you work out for like 45 minutes and you know, you get the shower and, and get on about your day. My thing is I probably work out maybe two to three times a day. if. You know, if I have a goal, if I'm uh, prepping for Crete, then we'll, we'll do a lot of like, you know, weight training and boxing and working out around around what a boxer would actually do. If I'm doing something like, you know, Killmonger for Black Panther, it'd be more massive. It'd be more weight training, trying to get bigger. So it just also all depends on what I'm trying to do. Casual, normal day for me, clothes, sweats, shoes, sneakers, t-shirt. I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty low maintenance. Maybe a hoodie, depending on where I'm at time of the year it is. Sports Center is always on. You know, I think it's like just in the background, you know, on, on mute. The way I get around in New York City is either walking or taking cabs. A friend of mine, Sue, she has a, a gallery that's going on out here and it's really, really incredible. So something I like to stop and pop into or I just opened up a rum bar on the Lower East Side as well. So that's another watering hole. I really like to kind of go with my friends and just hang out, grab a couple of drinks or just to, you know, just chop it up about what we got going on. Time of lunch. Whenever I get hungry, I'm a creature of habit, so I eat, pretty much order the same things. I either get like a um, turkey, egg, and cheese on a roll, a little bit of jelly, or uh, blue ribbon. You know, they have great sushi. Chicken burger is amazing. Phone is constantly ringing. Sometimes I just throw it on silent and just throw it in my pocket so I have an excuse not to answer it. But yeah, a lot of calls, a lot of emails, text messages pile in. I think right now, where am I at? Yeah, 255 unread messages. 256. 257, 258, yeah, 259, 261, I'm not even lying, it's really absurd, yeah. That's my day. Second workout is pretty, it, it would have to be a break in the day for me. Just go, go to the gym, work out, or go home, work out real quick, get in the shower, and then knock out the second half of my day. Hobbies for me, I used to play basketball a lot. I don't have the time to play it as much as I, as much as I love the game, uh, play a lot of video games. Call of Duty, NBA 2K. I'm still playing basketball, but just sitting down. I'm a big fan of anime. So for me, uh, usually when I'm in the car, I'm on a computer. Sometimes if I feel like it, I'll just pull up, you know, a manga and, and read that, or I'll have a graphic novel in my on my book bag, and I'll just I'll just always have it with me. So if I feel the need, if I feel like you know I'm reading, I'll just like pop it open and get to it. Usually, I head home for dinner. That's not true. I go out a lot too. All right, it's it's split. Honestly, it really just depends. I'm pretty spontaneous, so depending on what day it is and what I had going on, if I'm lucky enough to get up to to be at at the house, I'll get a home cooked meal. If not, I'll probably just go out for dinner. My parents are living with me, and I'm loving it. But we have our moments. You now, me and my family are very close. It was a dream come true. You know, to buy your mom a house, and, and you know, it, it was it was a special moment for me. On the flip side of that, I got roommates, so. Roommates, you're always gonna have something to talk about. Uh, normal night for me after dinner, 
I'm pretty much a homebody. You know, the, the times that I don't have an event to go to or, you know, some place to be, I kind of like chilling in the house and just, you know, watching a movie or playing video games or just being in my own thoughts. You know, you don't really get a chance to be by yourself too much when you're on the road and constantly traveling. So when you can f find a moment where you can just kind of, you know, be to yourself, that's pretty much what I'm doing. Bedtime, unknown. Who knows? After midnight, for sure. I mean, if I'm lucky enough to get in the bed before that and actually go to sleep, yeah, miracle. Four hours of sleep is, you know, pretty solid. Didn't they do a study on that? Four hour intervals or something like that? I'm working on that one. Bed prep, for me, I sleep naked. It's something about clothes. My mom, as a kid, she used to say, you know, when she had company, I would just like come in and like rip all my clothes off when I was like three years old and just run around the house. So yeah, never really been a fan of clothes like that, especially when I'm sleeping. And that's basically what I do in a day.